Got more going on with this Indiana fraud guy. Now he's dealing with counterfeit, counterfeit stuff. Put counterfeit videos on YouTube, which is against UPS. I mean, uh, YouTube's policy. So he says he never sold a Neotech. But these, I'm getting messages. They're pulling these Noker, Noker uh, cylinders out of Neotech machines. I don't have any problem with Neotech, and I think Doug's just causing a problem for himself. So I'm asking him. I sent him the video, and I said, "Here, it's not a long video, but it shows a Noker label. It's poor quality. Blah blah. Is it really a Noker?" So he sends me what Noker really looks like here. Noker cylinders, when they mark them, really look like that right there. That's their Noker emblem on the cylinders that they mark. Now, I got a bunch of cylinders from the three-year-old Noker chainsaws out of mine, and they're not marked. So this is the one he pulls from this Indiana Doug right here. I said, yes, the one in the video is counterfeit, fake, right? He says, he says I said, it's a fake. He says, yes, it's fake. And then he sends me... Uh, actual Noker labels again and he says we got a lot of fakes in some countries especially Eastern European v a very funny thing here some customers Alibaba came to me and asked for products that I did not know were used on which machines and he's given uh, examples this box is not our box and I don't know which machine the accessories are used on this guy is from Qatar so anyway Indiana Doug out there Indiana Doug while well, we talk about Indiana Doug Indiana Doug is perpetuating counterfeit on YouTube. And he's putting pictures of my stolen Nokers on them and talking about another Noker and blah, blah, blah. Indiana Doug can, can just keep doing what he's doing because he's given me incredible evidence for court. So, you know, I think the guy's in over his head on this one. The serial numbers, just like he said, the camera doesn't lie. They got stolen chainsaws. They did a fraud review. Everything in that review that was negative was a lie. The cylinders were swapped. I can show that. There's criminal investigations going on in two states. This is a bad deal. And then he's got these people on the Internet that are just so goofy and simple-minded, and they follow him, and they think, I, I don't know if they think it's funny or, or what, but... Pretty much the rest of this guy's life related to chainsaws is going to be people thinking, that's that guy that did that stupid cylinder swap and tried to perpetuate that fraud, and then that guy got pissed off me, and then that guy sued, sued him in court, and, you know, it's, why? Why would you even do this stupid stuff, man? Anyway, like, subscribe, share, thumbs up, look at the story on the stolen chainsaws. Take care.